Now, when you first met the Hoods, you know, there's obviously other people around doing music at that time, you know, not maybe heaps, yeah. but there's a few. If you look at where they're at now, obviously no one could have picked that they mm. were going to be what they were, mm. but was there something about them when you first met them that yeah, just man, seemed- Yeah, they're always on a different trajectory to everyone else. Even even back then, man, they, they looked at it a bit differently as well. Um, they were way more serious mm. about it as well. Like I was there, it's, uh, what's it going to be? Back Once Again was recorded. Um, I'm not sure if it was wholly done there, but at SAE, um, recording studios at uh, Maringi Ave, yep. Plimpton, wherever it is. And just even then, man, when they were recording, they had studio time booked in and it was like, at that stage, everyone was kind of like hanging out together, so it was a Friday night or whatever. And even then it's like, nah, this is serious time. We're recording, blah, blah, blah. And it was, you know? Yeah, so that had a more professional oh, approach from the through. get-go. Yeah, so, yeah. So you kind of knew. Oh, yeah, you know, they've always had like, a, and even with, I think as far as the shows that they selected as well coming up, coming through, like they've always had like a different approach. Yeah. You know, and just as an example, they basically uh, said that they'd do a show, they'd get their show money and they'd bank it and put it towards better equipment for their live shows, better mics, better, you know, or better recording studio. Was other dudes who just piss it up at the bar. Dude, like, we're, <laughs> and like, you step into our world and we're either splitting the money four ways and everyone's like, uh, you know, or like a New Year's Eve gig we did, we got our show money from it and just basically got Blake to hire a bus. So once his show was done, we filled the bus with all of our mates and went to a, a house party that was already happening at Simplex's house. You know, so we moved the club to Sim. You know, which is a stupid shit with it like that, but it is what it is, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good times. No regrets. <laughs> nah, 100%, man. So, yeah. you know, we're talking these tapes. This is going mid-90s, I guess, into the late 90s. Yep. Now, at this point, so, you know, you, you obviously know Fat Face. You know yeah. The Hoods. Yeah. You know Debris. You obviously know a few others. You've been painting with 73A, but... Nah, not... Uh, just clarify that not painting like painting with them but never in it not in the crew no yeah, no, 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 no crew, but just yeah. sort of hanging yeah, around yeah, yeah, with oh, them 100%, and, yeah. Yeah. yeah but at, uh, even at this point terra firma is not a thing certified wise is not a thing yeah and culture kings is not a thing i think still at this point though uh terra firma was it was basically simo and raf i reckon at this stage like at, when we first moved in to the Aberfoyle house terra firma was definitely a thing ah okay yeah. but you weren't part no, of it no 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 okay no nah. No, and it and was just those two you reckon? Pretty at that sure, point. and then maybe just be after that, but it was definitely those two to begin with. Um, and yeah, so basically, I remember at, when I was living there, Les and Jody coming around to record the night the heavens cried. So that oh. basically got recorded there at Crossbred, and I, I'm, I'm not sure if it was the first time I ever met him, but it was one of the first where I met Les. I was like, "Who is this dude, man?" It's like. Like a whirlwind coming through the house, yeah. and like, you know, you know, just a louder than light. Yeah, it was just, I thought this, yeah, we set it off, man. Like, and yeah, they recorded that, and that's a heavy duty track, man. Like, well, that's yeah. RIP to um, um, Threads, yeah, yeah, and which is like Jody's brother, Jody's brother, yeah. yeah, yeah, and that beat, um, was done by Parrish. So basically, with the beat, yeah, so Parrish from TDC basically Simo rocked up to his house and he already had it on, and Simo's like, that's great, like. You know, and I think Parrish basically gave it to him. But yeah, it was Parrish's beat. Wow, I didn't yep. know that. Yes, and I've, I think Simo obviously then like fucked with afterwards or whatever. All that, but it was definitely, to begin with, it was at Parrish's house where Simo. And something I only found out recently is the piano at the start mm -hmm. is from Star Trek. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, man. Yeah, I never knew yeah, that. Yeah, Simo's a massive Trekkie. Oh, yeah, no shit. Yeah, he goes to Comic-Con and like, he's full on, man. Every year, it's ridiculous. So this is though, because that, that song came out a bit late. That was early 2000s. So, yeah. but in that studio session, that's where you became yes. terra firma mm. or that's oh, where you no, met? That, yeah, that's where I met them. Yeah. That me joining didn't happen for a little, a little while after, later. After that, yeah. So then that, so but around when was that track recorded? Like Ooh. late 90s or early 2000s? Uh, it would be early 2000s, I reckon. Yeah, okay. time at that house. Or may, maybe 99, I'm not sure. But it's, it's, that was, was done, recorded, and then sat on for a while. For, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. it could have been late 90s. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now, also in that, so in that sort of 90s period, one of the other really prominent acts that we had in SA was Delta. Yeah, man. Yep. So did you have a relationship with Delta back in that point or? Yeah, I understand- yeah. Like, so basically like he, uh, you know, if you were from down south at that period, you definitely heard of him. Yeah. Basically because, and he was, at, I think he went to Cardine or whatever and he was like this dude from Cardine can freestyle his ass off, blah, blah, blah. Mm. just knew like, um, I think, I'm not even sure how it's their story to tell or whatever, but it was originally like, uh, in the original hoods or, or really tight with them or whatever, then one thing led to another and went their own ways. Yeah. But it was like really, you know, those dudes were all tight, you know? Yeah, because yeah. Debris was from Christie's. Yep. And Debris and Delta, I th- I've heard that I think, and obviously Delta was from down south. Yep. And Debris was the bridge that introduced... Probably, yeah. Pressure Sounds and about right. Yeah, yep. okay. Yep. Sounds about right. So they were kind of like a thing at the beginning. Yeah, man. It was all, yep. And yeah, I'm not okay. sure what happened or whatever. But yeah, yeah o- over time, yeah. they've just gone their separate ways. Yeah. Yeah, we've... I, I've he's always of, been like... Doing his own thing or... Yeah, and just, you know, always... Like, you'd always heard of him. If, you've, if you're into hip-hop and you're down that way, you'd already heard about him from that period. Man, yeah. Like, you know? Okay. Yeah, Duke could rap even back then as well, you know? So basically at this point, you guys are sort of like all hanging around yep. each other yep. to some degree. Um, and is this the era of Blackwood Roundabout? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I've, yeah. I only, only time I ever went up to Blackwood was when I was either with Debris or PJ or whatever. Okay, so you weren't yeah, yeah freaking, no. Or like I was really during the like the graph period, like with IRS. I mean, Vooms mm. did heaps of shit. He's now, um, you know, Giselle or whatever. So that dude, we hung out heaps. That's what both of us were the only two dudes that were in that IRS that weren't in crews. Hang on, you were you were hanging out with Jisso? Yep. Yeah, man, me and him go way back. Really? So yeah. he's originally an Adelaide dude? Yeah, man. Yeah. Because I've heard this, nah, man. He's, yeah. He's, yeah. He's wow. an original Blackwood head, man. Like, yeah. He's a Blackwood boy. Yeah. Smooth, booms. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, man. Good dude. Good dude. <laughs> I don't know if he's like machiavelli did it too much. I hear all these, like, that rumor that he died or whatever. I see, that was yeah. like a couple of years you know, ago on the internet. That? But yeah, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen him for a while, man. Like, wow. But, yeah. So, because I mean, look, he's I mean, a good dude, man. Like, he got up as well, man. Like, a lot of like him and me were doing heaps of run ups and stuff. And yeah, yeah. See, I wasn't expecting that. So, yeah. what? Well, so, you would have met him like early 90s or something? Yeah, shit. yeah. 94, yeah. 95. And what? So, he, so you guys were in that IRS crew? Yep. Yeah. So, he is basically the only two dudes that were in that IRS that weren't in crews were him and me. And then, yeah. so from there, what, did he move into state? Yeah, he moved or? to Melbourne or something. I'm not sure. And then obviously yeah. over there is where that documentary's been filmed and he's got real... I haven't even watched it, man. I've, I've heard all about it and everything, you but I don't want to remember him the way I... have to be kidding. You haven't seen nah, it? Man. I don't want to... I've, dudes have told me all about it and everything. I'm like, I don't want to watch that. Because you know him... Oh, from a as different a period, diff- man. Almost yeah. like a different person. I don't want to see like a fucking bucket of ice or whatever he's got. You know, I don't want to know about any of that. Wow. No not shit. Not putting him on glass there, but fuck. You know? Yeah, no, nah, it looks like he's been through a bit. Yeah, yeah I'll... you know, over time. Um, man, if I would love to get an interview with him. That's why I'm like, as if yeah, you know yeah. him from back in the day. That's crazy. Yeah, no, man. he's a good dude as well, man. Like my memories of him. <laughs> yeah, he was there when we were painting once, at, um, uh, somewhere on the Belair line, and we thought we were getting chased, but you know we weren't, and we we're both running, and I lost my footing, and I flipped down a hill, and I was like, yeah, broke my ankle, but. Yeah, it was fucked. Like, properly somersaulted down the hill. Ended up at like, the bottom of the hill and I stood up and I just go to him, am I bleeding? And he's like, are you bleeding? He's like, sit down, dude. I was like, I had a half my face. Like, it was fucked. Yeah, but yeah, that was with him. <laughs> yeah. He was a good dude, man. <laughs> Shout out to him. We, we were parked about two kilometres away, man. They had like a break. Oh, was, yeah, it was rank. <laughs> it wasn't fun. Yeah, yeah no, that's, that's unexpected as, man. The, the, the lesson. Oh, yeah.